Everyone talks about how something is wrong with the world. Some say it's the elites, some say it's capitalism, others blame the colonizer. But nobody ever pinpoints exactly where the problem is. And today I'm here to tell you exactly what is wrong with the world and how to fix it in your own individual life. There is one button that was pressed in our consciousness and all we have to do is unpress it. What do I mean? Our ancient African ancestors, the ones that were here before everybody else, lived by one rule. Ubuntu, as above, so below, as within, so without, and vice versa was not true. But according to historian George Robert Stormid, in order to pave way for greed, colonization, slavery, and capitalism, some malicious philosophers turned the African Ubuntu narrative from as above, so below, to as below, so above, from as within, so without, to as without, so within. This might sound like a very insignificant issue in the physical realm, but in the human psyche, this is an absolute distortion because what this philosophy insinuates is if you say as below so above instead of as above so below, you are not only turning the world map upside down, but you are also turning the collective mentality upside down. What as below so above simply means is the reflection on the mirror can exist without its image, a phenomenon that is impossible unless it is plastic unnatural and mechanical. See, ancient African universities like the House of Life University were not teaching Africans mechanical stuff like inventing horseless carriages and wingless birds to boast about cancer, diabetes, HIV, air pollution as repercussions. Ancient African universities were so advanced that they were not investing in technology of food, sleep, mating, defending, because this was a basic mammalian technology that was done by all mammals. But what set African humans aside from mammals was the African studies of nature, the solar system, ascension, and spirituality. As below, so above means the shadow can exist without the object. As below, so above insinuates that humanity can exist without the solar system. But our ancestors believed that you can never understand yourself or the world you live in without first of all understanding the solar system in which you live in. Now here is the catch. As below, so above insinuates that your vessel can exist without your spirit. And when your vessel exists without your spirit, it becomes empty vessel. And empty vessels make the best slaves and capitalism workers. So the church had to come in as the cult that was used to kick your spirit out of your vessel. Eating your spiritual body and drinking your spiritual blood every day as the body of Christ. And the cross is there to symbolize that humiliation that was done not just to your ancestors but to you today as well. Now, the people whose spirits refuse to leave their vessels are said to have mental health issues in order to conceal their truth. The truth has its own spirits. Once you see it, you will never unsee it.